What if I told you there's a bacteria out there that can destroy your flesh within hours? Yes, you heard it right. Flesh-eating bacteria. It sounds like something straight out of a horror movie, but it's very real, and it can be deadly. In today's video, we're diving deep into the terrifying world of necrotizing fasciitis, the flesh-eating bacteria. We'll explore what it is, how it spreads, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself. So, if you want to learn about one of the most frightening infections known to medical science, stay tuned! Let's start with the basics. Necrotizing fasciitis, commonly known as flesh-eating bacteria, is a severe bacterial infection that spreads rapidly and destroys the body's soft tissue. It's a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment to prevent serious complications or even death. The term necrotizing means causing the death of tissues. This condition is not caused by a single type of bacteria, but several different types can be responsible. Necrotizing fasciitis can be caused by various bacteria, including Group A Streptococcus, Staphylococcus aureus, Clostridium species, Vibrio vulnificus, and Aeromonas hydrophila. Each of these bacteria has its own characteristics and ways of causing harm. Group A Streptococcus, or GIAS, is the most common cause. It's the same type of bacteria that causes strep throat, but in rare cases, it can lead to this severe condition. Staphylococcus aureus, including the notorious MRSA, is another common culprit. These bacteria are found on the skin and in the nose of healthy individuals, but can cause serious infections if they enter the body through a wound. So how do these bacteria enter our bodies and cause such devastation? The bacteria usually enter through breaks in the skin, such as cuts, scrapes, burns, insect bites, or surgical wounds. Even blunt trauma where the skin isn't visibly broken can be a gateway. Imagine you're enjoying a day at the beach, but you have a small cut on your foot. If the water is contaminated with Vibrio vulnificus, a type of bacteria found in warm seawater, you could be at risk. Recognizing the early symptoms of necrotizing fasciitis is crucial for survival. Initially, you might notice sudden and severe pain in the affected area, swelling, and redness around the wound. You might also experience fever and a general feeling of fatigue. As the infection progresses, the skin may become discolored, blistered, and there might be a sensation of the skin feeling hot. Pus or oozing from the infected area is a serious red flag. Diagnosing necrotizing fasciitis involves a combination of physical examination, imaging, and laboratory tests. Rapid progression and severe pain are strong indicators. Imaging techniques like x-rays, Connecticut scans, or MRI can help assess the spread of infection. Blood tests can detect the presence of bacteria, and tissue cultures from the wound can identify the specific type of bacteria responsible. If diagnosed with necrotizing fasciitis, immediate and aggressive treatment is necessary. Surgical debridement, which involves removing infected tissue, is often the first step. Broad-spectrum antibiotics are administered intravenously to combat the infection. Supportive care, including treatment for shock and organ failure, may also be necessary. In some cases, hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help by killing anaerobic bacteria and promoting healing. Prevention is always better than cure. Proper wound care is crucial. Keep cuts and wounds clean and covered until healed. Avoid hot tubs, swimming pools, and natural bodies of water if you have an open wound. Prompt medical attention for any deep wounds or signs of infection can make all the difference. Early intervention can save lives. Now, let's hear some real-life stories of people who battled necrotizing fasciitis. These stories will help us understand the gravity of this condition and the importance of early treatment. Meet Sarah a young mother who noticed a small cut on her leg after a hiking trip. Within hours, the pain became unbearable, and her leg started to swell. Thanks to quick action and aggressive treatment, she survived, but required several surgeries. Or John's story, a fisherman who developed necrotizing fasciitis after a minor cut while handling fish. His quick-thinking wife rushed him to the hospital, where he received life-saving treatment. Necrotizing fasciitis, or flesh-eating bacteria, is a rare but deadly condition that requires immediate medical attention. Knowing the symptoms, understanding how it spreads, and taking preventive measures can save lives. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health-related content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share this video with your friends and family to raise awareness about this serious condition. And if you have any questions or personal experiences with necrotizing fasciitis, 
please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.